How are you? Hi, can you hear me? Okay, let me know when you're there. Hello, Claudia, good evening. Hello. How are you? I'm doing well, and you? I'm very well as well. Thank you for being on time and working the cameras. Uh, I know on Monday and Tuesdays, you're not able to do it. So it's new, it's very nice to see you, okay? Mm -hmm. Me too. Okay, have you watched the videos of these previous sessions that we have started? No yet? No yet, all right. Uh, we were doing some exercises last, well, last, in the previous classes. Let yeah. me show you. Um, we'll start all over when the other comes. We'll continue the regular class until we were uh, finished the exercise, okay? Okay. Nice. Let me see. Just in case you have any questions, okay? And in the meantime, you can also help me reading this, all right? You haven't done it, so I hope that you can help me, but I would like to give you some answers since you are not able to do it. Just a moment. So you are ho at home right now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very well. And uh, you do you have company? Hello, Alberto. Hey, good evening. How are you? <laughs> Very good. Good evening. Fine. Angela is coming as well. And Lucette is connected. Oops. It jumped me until one point. Two, let me see. Session five. Good evening. Nice to see you. Nice How to see you. How are you? Teacher, uh, I am very, very well. And you, teacher? Very well as well. Thank you for asking. All right. We'll continue in a bit until I have the. Let's see in the back, listening. Uh, until which exercise are you guys? Uh, are you uh, done? Mm, just missing the part to sort the story. Uh, this is the part that is missing because it didn't actually work. I mean, the result correct. But what was that exercise? I'm sorry. Uh, Plagiarism. Oh. We have to sort the story and uh, chronologically, the but the, I the tried to five point seven, five point ten, I guess, right? Mm -hmm, kind of. Okay, but, let me verify. Uh, I wasn't able to do it. Okay, we will do it together. No problem. That's what um, I missed. That's the only one. I all finished right. all. Of and Angela. Um. Excuse me, Peter. Have you finished all the exercises? So you are here, right, Alberto? Okay. Um, yeah, that part is plagiarism. And we have to uh, sort the story chronological, chronologically. And it didn't work. <laughs> Actually, it's just all wrong. OK, let's find out. Let me see. Then I'm not sure, teacher. Um, 
Mm -hmm. I am going to check my platform. Mm -hmm. So you're you're not sure until where you have uh, done. Yes. We were mm, let's see defining yeah. on defining. This one was done. This is the same, but it's in the five uh, session, right? This is just the reading. We already read, I guess. Session mm. five. Five. You you did this one, right? Shouldn't. Yeah, I did. All right. No questions with this. You were able to no. answer them. Yeah, that I finished that part. Yes, I am uh, finished. Okay, Lisette, hello. Angelica, which exercise have you done? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, in this part, I did it 5.2. You didn't complete it? Yes. You didn't, okay. Mm, and let's see if there anything else. 5.1, 5.2. All right, so we will do it together since Alberto and Angela already did it. They will help me and Claudia uh, uh, take notes in case you have any doubts, okay? Yes. Good, uh, so help me guys with number one and read as well, okay? I want you to read with intonation, okay? Today, the, the topic also will be about tag questions. So you need to do intonation. So we are going to practice that right now, okay? So we have the answer already for here. It, it's, it all depends on your opinion. So there is, sometimes it is not like, it has to do a uh, positive or negative. So it's up to you, okay? But the important thing is the model, the, the one that you use, okay? So number two, uh, how, uh, can you read it, Alberto? Sure. Number two is, Young people must not be permitted to get married before age 15. Must not be permitted. All right, remember with double T. All right, the second, uh, number, number three, Angela. Sorry, give me a moment. Okay? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. No problem. Uh, John, the number John, like Papa John's <laughs> or young, uh, young, yeah. young, <laughs> okay. Number three. Welcome, uh, Kevin. Nice to see you. And Lisette, where are you? See you nice to see you. Hello? Companies to, um... Companies should be required. Okay, should be required. Thank yes. you. The yes. next, Kevin, have you finished this? Yes, have you done it? Ya lo hizo. No. Ronald, no. help me with number four and tell me the answer. You're muted. People should not be allowed to have pet. Allowed. 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 Allowed to have pet in rice. High must, rice must or apartment. should? Should Didn't not. Didn't hear you. Okay. Shouldn't be allowed all right thank you and now run up
scientists must not be permitted to use animals for research. All right, guys, take notes. The number six, what is, uh, yes, Jonathan, what do you, tell me, you raise your hand, no sé para qué. Um, six must not be passed. Oh, low? Must not be passed. Okay, very good pronunciation, thank you. Number seven, next. If you know, give me the answer, guys. But I want you to read. The sale of fur products must not be permitted. And the number eight. Come on, guys, you say you already did it. So you it's easy just to read, okay? Sometimes should be done. Sometimes, sometimes is eh, a veces. It's a something, all right? Repeat. Something should be done. Should be done. Okay, let's check the answer. Good. Um, so you already know that, uh, guys, the one who had not finished. So we do the 5.3 that this is basically the introduction of the topic. Can you help me read, Kevin? Okay. In this class, participants will be introduced to the question for opinion. Opinions. Guys, opinion. how do we pronounce this? Introduce it. No. Nope. Introduce. Introduced. With the T sound, Kevin. All right. Be introduced. All right. Thank you. Um, okay. You see, you need to read, guys. You need to read. Uh, practice. Practice reading. So you can have a better pronunciation. Okay. Uh, conversation is in chip. You already watched this video. So we'll be done with this. Please check the videos, guys. We hope that you do it. Si no lo hacen, no lo ven, no van a aprender lo mismo. You're not going to learn the same thing. Okay? Be honest. Hay que ser honesto. Si no pasan y solo como pasaron, pero de noche, dicen. Es cierto que de noche es late, but hay que ser, ¿verdad? Objetivo que de verdad veamos esos videos que nos ayudan, ¿verdad? Please, guys. Um, what was this? Bye. And so we're doing that's it. Knowledge check, then, guys. Help me read instructions, anyone? Me, teacher. Sure. Uh, instruction after the uh, question. Uh, 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 how do you pronounce these uh, guys? Wait. Oh. Sorry. Repeat. How do you say this, guys? Instruction at time. At time. Question. Add tag questions to these statements. To this statement. Add. Agrega tag questions, que son preguntas, pues, así se dice, tag questions. Um, preguntas sobre lo, la, misma, la misma afirmación, ¿verdad? Mire, ¿verdad que inglés es fácil? Dice ahí. Yeah, it's English easy. Isn't it? O sea, se hace como una, una o no. Como decir o no. Ese es un tag question. Ok, but continue reading. Ok. Repeat Remember. this word, again, from the beginning. Okay, teacher. Instruction. Add time questions. Instructions. It's plural. Add time question to this statement. Remember, if the statement is affirmative, the time question must be negative or 
Vice versa. Vice versa. All right. Vice, yeah. vice versa. Okay. Vice versa. Um, just step. Okay. Continue reading, Claudia. Just type the chance was. Hold on. Okay. Remember, if the statement is affirmative, the tag question must be negative or vice versa. Just type the tag question. No capital letter or periods are needed. Thank you. Nice pronunciation. Thank you. All right. So help me with number number one. Anyone? You can't escape advertising nowadays, can you? Mm -mm. Pronunciation at the end, remember, guys? Intonation. It's a question. One more time. You can't escape advertising nowadays, can you? You can't escape advertising nowadays, can you? Very good. So what you do is just to change it. If it's affirmative, you do it in negative. All right, just be careful with the auxiliary or model you're using. So that's the only detail. So can you? Um, that question, no capital letters are needed. Okay, number two. There aren't enough gun, gun control laws. Gun control, uh -huh. gun, gun control, gun control, gun control, gun control law, are you, are you, sorry, <laughs> are you, are you, but there it says there aren't, Así, eso significa que, guys, no, what is the meaning, are there, aha, uh -huh, very good, are there nice? That is a tag question. Number three. Uh, number three, me? Sure. Noise pollution is a major problem here. Major. Uh huh. Remember, it's a question, okay? Primero dice entonces, noise pollution is, is a major problem here. One more time. Y después la pregunta con, do, con entonación. Noise pollution is a major problem here. Uh, is not is. Okay. Isn't, isn't. Or we can say isn't it as well, okay? Isn't it? Isn't it? All right, let's leave it like that. If there is correct, it's okay. And the next one, number four. Me? Who say me? Uh, and uh, go, go. There are more, there are more and more homeless people on the street. street? It's correct. Faster, yeah, vamos a hacerlo más rápido. There are more and more homeless people on the street. On the streets. Yeah. Street. Um, I'm there. Okay. The other one, five. Wake up, guys, are you there? You say you did it already. All right, so what? What a silence. The sales, the sales tax should be lower. Sales? Sales. Guys, oh, no les gusta que los corrija. Sorry to interrupt, Claudia. No. Porque, les, <laughs> o sea, no sé si les da miedo leer o qué, pero si cuando me leen los, los corrijo, pues disculpen, pero creo que para eso estoy aquí, ¿verdad? Para es, señalarles los que ustedes tienen que, que mejorar, ¿ok? 
So if you want to practice, guys, here is the time. Yo creo que con, otro, con otras compañeras o compañeros no practican. So this is the time. Time to shine. In, uh -huh. my, state, in my case, I agree, teacher. <laughs> mm -hmm. Me too. So do I. Okay. So what about the number five? Um, the sales tax and should sales. be lowered. One more sales. time, the sales. sales. The sales tax should be lowered and shouldn't be. Lowered, all right. Lowered, lowered. The, 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 lowered. at the end, all right. Minimized. Um, shouldn't be. Number six. Me teacher. Go, Kevin. It isn't easy to save money these days. It, it is. It is. Is that a question? Is it Kevin? Repeat no. the question, please. Look, look, it isn't. If it's a question, remember to change the order. Read again. Okay. It's not it say. Is... Remember, read again. It, it, it isn't easy to say money. Say va, va. say as the seed. Con say. Tenía okay. que pronunciar la, la V, all right? You have, to, you have to pronounce the V. Save. Save. Money this, these days. Money. 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 These days. Okay. So, how, how do you form the question? Ahí le ayudaron hace poquito, le dijeron, right? ¿Cómo se hace la pregunta? Si es afirmación, decimos it is. Si es negación, decimos isn't it, it, it is not. Or uh, it isn't. Para pregunta, cambiamos el orden, ¿se acuerda? Yes. 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 So, yes. How do you say it then? Question. Aha, uh -huh. mm -hmm. good job. Is it? Is it? Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> number five and number seven. The number five is missing an N. Oh, thank you. Okay, ahí Ronald, así como está, nos va a dar sueño a todos. De verdad. Con, hasta con almohadita está, imagínense. Come on, guys. Bye, creo que para todos, ¿verdad? Esa forma, de esa forma no se aprende mucho, creo yo, porque se, se duerme. Believe me, hasta su cerebro está así pensando en que me voy a dormir. Ok, number seven, guys. Me. Sure. Uh, that side thing is hurting, hurting the economy. Ok. Downsizing is hurting the economy, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. Okay, isn't it? Okay, and number eight, finally. The city doesn't do, do enough for trade on the month. Okay. Doesn't. 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 Así, like this. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yes. Okay. Vamos a ver si todo está correcto, guys. Um... No. ¿Qué tiene de malo ahí entonces, guys? What is, what is wrong? Uh, number five. Should it be? What is the correction? Shouldn't it? 
So should be. Shouldn't it? But shouldn't what is the mix? It. Shouldn't it? Thank yes. you. Okay, and the other one. All right, you, we say isn't it because normally they are contracted. Yes. Okay. And then can you, the, this, this is the mistake then. Isn't it, right? Isn't it. Uh-huh. Thank you, guys. Well, you have the answers already. The next part, we have more exercises, okay? Um, what is the intonation in the tag question, okay? You know that the tag questions is always pronounced loudly, okay? Let me check how much this video... Intonation in tag questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Use falling intonation in tag questions when you are giving an opinion and want to know if the other person agrees. Ethnic conflict is a terrible problem, isn't it? They should make guns illegal, shouldn't they? Before we go, we want to remind you that you may play the audio programs, explanations, and videos as many times as you need to. It is always a good idea to practice with your friends. Practice makes perfect. So you're going to give me the answers here. And the, um, This is the one. So we have more examples uh, from four. Look, we always use the verb, what we are talking about, okay? If it's affirmative, look, you needn't or you needn't obey her. Need you? A fellow isn't, so we just change the uh, the order, okay? Um, you were told us of him, weren't you? You weren't born here. ¿Qué le falta aquí? You were not born here. Born here. Where are you? Where, the, where are you? Yes. And the other one. It was kind of him. Wasn't it? Very good. Hey, Lorena, you appeared a little late. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> better sorry. than it better later than than me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it? Good job. The number six. Yeah, you have cows. Haven't you? Cows. Sorry, cows, cows, cows. Okay, ha, uh, haven't you? The next one, number eight. Uh, uh, teacher, I have a question. The first one, I don't get that. I don't get it. You don't. You don't need to obey her. Do you? Do you, yes. Where? The first one. The first one. This is uh, uh, and is my life I ever seen my grammar or structure like that. <laughs> you don't need to obey her, do you? And the uh, number It's another six. form to say. Yeah, it's another for form to say, but this is a little bit more slam, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, it's very common, all right? Um, 
but yeah, most of the time will be eight. You you don't need to obey uh, to obey her, mm -hmm. do you? Basically, yes. But in this case, we are off. We're just checking the negative structure and what you use. Uh, in this case, when we use a verb, in this case, if it's in negative, all right, need you. But we're going to find more examples like this. Don't worry. Okay, I, I will show you. Okay, but yeah, the other word, the other way, definitely will be like you say. You don't need to obey him or obey her. Have you? Do you? Perdón, do you? Number. And the number six is, I mean, if you say that it's lying because it's weird, it's also weird because you it's have. Don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, you say it. Yeah, don't you? Very good. Don't you? Correct. Because we're talking about the auxiliary in this case, right? It's affirmative, so it's done with the auxiliary done, do or doesn't. Okay? Very good job. Aplauso para. Eh, también creo que me dijo Lorena, ¿verdad? Ya. Ya ven, yes. chicos, y los demás, na nada dice, ¿verdad? El de rest, just say, Shh. ve, así se aprende, guys. Very good. And you saw my surprise. Did you? Did you? Very good. And the other one. I guess that is very good. Hasn't it? Number seven, it should be didn't you, or it has to be positive. Oh, yeah. Mm, didn't you? Number yes. seven, uh, you saw positive, yes. no, affirmative. Didn't, say, didn't, didn't you? Didn't you. Okay, good job. The next one. Hasn't it? Hasn't it? Don't, don't you? Okay, here is don't you. Yeah. The other one? I, I think this in is number very nine. Easy. I think in uh -huh. number nine is do you? Because oh. it's the opposite. It's the opposite. Yes, you're right. Thank you. Uh huh. The next one? That's it. Has it? Has it? Okay. Next. Quite comprehend. You quite don't, comprehend. Don't you? Don't you? The next one. Are you? <laughs> you don't want to read that. Means... <laughs> I don't know what it means. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's but you don't really want to read it. All right. I mean, you don't want to read You're it. You're not chiva. What is this, the, the meaning of chiva rules? Chiva rules. Anyone? Maybe mad, angry. Upset. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Is chivalrous? Chivalrous. Pronunciation uh, again, please. Chivalrous. Ah, uh, chivalrous. Perdón. Chiv. Pero mejor se lo vamos a poner de un solo. Espérenme. Give me a moment. Chivalrous. Do you hear? Chivalrous. Sometimes somebody who is very courteous, courteous. All right. Or very gentlemanly, very gentleman. Thank you. 
chivalrous, chivalrous. Okay. Now we'll continue. Well, we have enough examples, guys. So let's continue with the other part. This is where we are pending to finish because this is an exercise. All right. I need you to read so we can uh, we can identify the, the correct order, okay? Look, read first the like the top of this and which paragraph you're is talking about uh, about this uh, topic. The teacher started appearing natural in national news. The teachers gave the students failing grades. The students uh, the students' parents were angry. The teachers left her home and the group of students cheated on an assignment and the school board told the teacher to change the score. Got it? So who wants to read? Los que no han leído, eso ya lo leyeron algunos. Um, yes, me. Okay, one paragraph hasta el punto. Okay, uh, okay. How serious is pressure? Um, the paragraph agree. Scan the first paragraph of the article. What does the word plagiarism mean? Plagiarism? Plagiarism mean. Recently, a biology teacher is Kansas. Recently, a biology Recently. teacher in Kansas. A biology teacher is in, in Kansas. A stay in the American Midway. May national and even international international news after christine news okay here it's it's okay okay remember period means pause continue reading any other one after christine pelton discovered that 28 of her 18 118 students have prized parts of a major project she gave them failing grades. Failing grades. Thank you. Continue reading. Any other person? Um, although this was the school policy, the students' parents complained. The mm -hmm. school board directed Miss Miss Pelton to change the punishment. They told her that Mrs. Points. Pelton, señora, Mrs. Mrs. Pelton to change the punishment. They told her 600 points should be taken from the offenders. Prior than the entire 1,000. Entire? Entire. Entire. 108,000 points. Mrs. 100, Pelton. 100? 100? 1,800. 1,800 points. Mrs. Okay. Pelton resigning in protest. Mm -hmm. Resigned in, in, yeah, resigned in, in protest. Okay, in protest. All right, next one. Who wants to read the sec the other paragraph? So, vamos viendo. The teacher, ¿cuál sería? Vamos a poner simplemente one, two, or three, okay? That is the part, that is basically what we are going to identify. Okay? Failing grades, ¿a dónde lo vieron? Here, right? It could be then like the part one, yeah? Yes. She gave them fa failing grades. Right. So we're going to write, which is the number, guys? National news. We already read that part. What is the num What is national news? Number one. And number one. Uh -huh. Number one. And then the number two then will be that? The first. 
This is number one. One. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's continue reading. Vamos a, a finalizar primero. Okay. News. So this is not the first one, guys. Okay. Um, who is next? Me, teacher. All right, Angelica. Why did this become such a significant story? Perhaps it is because many people feel strongly about what is right and wrong. Feel stronger, or strongly, sorry, feel strongly. Feel strongly about what is right and wrong. Very good, all right? Remember, guys, no S, no S, no a story, no, right? Significant story and feel strongly. All right, any other next? Rona, help me read. Can you? But that's the one we have read the other day, right? Yeah. About plagiarism. Yeah, we're just identifying the order. Do you have the order already? No, I haven't completed. All right, so that is why yes. we are reading it, so we can identify which paragraph, if first, second, or third, okay? Uh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, I had to order pizza for my family. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, send us one. Send us one piece. <laughs> Please. <laughs> no, uh, Don't talk about food. I'm hungry. I mean, I, <laughs> I am I actually saw... eating a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is a promotion for a pizza, one ingredient pizza for four dollars and fifty cents in in Dominot's pizza. So I took advantage of it. Two. Yes, two, two. Okay, that I is great. Here. But you have a coupon, I guess. No, no, you can order it till March the the fifteen, I guess. Oh. Um. Very so, nice. Uh, Thank you for letting us know. It's very, so you very cheap. Take advantage of it too. Sure, definitely. Hey, good news. <laughs> A good advertisement, right? That is great. Unfortunately, I live very far away. Here we don't we don't have any type of pizza if it's not from the restaurants who sell them. Okay. Uh, so you wanna read? I wanna hear that pronunciation and intonation, okay? In the meantime, I eat. Don't move your arm, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dele, Jesus. Alberto, sorry. <laughs> quiere pronunciar, quiere aprender y no nunca lee tampoco, vea. <laughs> he wants to read, but Ronald said he wanted to read, but he didn't. So I'm sorry, I, di I didn't I didn't know I was mute. <laughs> okay, so um, although the teacher story, although some people find reasons to justify plagiarism, others feel the issue is clear cut. Uh you were too far. We were not in that part. Uh here, although the incident may soon mm, ah okay okay may soon be forgotten, it raised some important questions. What is plagiarism? How serious is it? Mm. Oh, nice. Uh huh. Let's see. Read a little bit more until this source. Okay, the simplest form of plagiarism occurs when someone copies material without giving credit to the source. Thank you. Now, Alberto, okay, I wanna hear you. Thank, Thank you, you, Ronald, very nice pronunciation. High five for you. Okay, however, there are also more serious forms, such as when a student pays someone else to write an essay. 
Some people claim that copying is necessary to do well in school. They have realized that their own words are not good as someone else. Another I mean, common are argument. Not good, are not as good as someone else's. Someone else's. Else's. That part. Someone else's. Another okay. common argument is that everyone does it. So it's not a big deal. In fact, okay. correct me in that part, please. Yeah, in <laughs> I'm fact. Not sure. In fact. In fact. It's more pronunciation it with the T. Been, in fact. Yeah. In fact, it has been learned that even some highly respected figures, including Martin Luther King Jr., have plagiarized. Thank you, very nice. Okay, now, now, very good, guys, that you remember how to pronounce it. Remember, we have already did, did, uh, read this part, all right? Así como dijo Ronald, sí, pero algunos todavía lo están leyendo y les cuesta esa pronunciación, ¿verdad? So that is why, guys, and we're identifying the order, okay? So the next one is, can you help me? ¿Quién no me ha leído, ah? Mi teacher. All right, Kevin, go. All this paragraph, okay? From here to here. Okay. Although some people find reason to reasons, justify. Reasons. 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 Con la S, corazón. Reasons. Reason. Y si no dijera find a reason. No find reason, right? Say the finder a reason, all right? Find reason to who's reasons. 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 Aha. Justify. To has justify. 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 Plagiarism. 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 Others feel the issue is clear cut. The issue cut. is clear cut. Issue is clear cut. They feel it's morally wrong and consider it is selling. And consider it stealing a thief. Yes. And consider it stealing a theft of ideas rather than money. Theft of idea people... rather than money. All right, enough, enough, enough. <laughs> Anna, you are you're uh, you just connected, so read the the other part, okay? Okay. These people believe that students believe. who Anna, you are next. Believe Aquí vamos. These people, you are muted. Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, I, uh, a part of the teacher. These people believe. These um, people. Uh, yes. These these people believe uh, that students who people believe that students that, that students that students that students who uh, how do you say plagiarize <laughs> plagiarize benefit. You unfairly. Like my buddy. Play you are unfairly. unfairly. They receive. They a receive. Better, uh, receive a better uh, grade than they deserve. Okay, the serp. Thank you. All right, the last part. Who wanna read it? Who wants to read it? So, what about the incident in Kansas? Was the original punishment too severe? Severe. Too severe? It's a question, guys. Severe. Mm -hmm. 
The teachers have the right to tell students and parents tell what is right or wrong. Tell student. Sorry, tell student. Una televisión con el estudiante, una tele student. Vamos, Jonathan, no se pone la E en, a, 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 al inicio de la S, les estaba mencionando anteriormente. Do the teacher have, have the right to tell students and ah, ahí está. what is right or wrong. Miss Pelton would probably say... Mrs. The... Pelton, Miss se escribe M-I-S-S, -S, como la Miss Universe, all right? Esta es Miss. Mrs., all right? Mrs. Eh, Mrs., uh -huh. Mrs. Pelton could probably say that the job of, job of, can you move, oh, please? The job of, uh, uh, the job as a teacher is to do exactly that. Okay, guys. Um, the school board. By the way, teacher, I Googled this story. It was, it's a real story, actually. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's yes. plagiarism. It's plagiarism. It's because uh, it happens every time. And yeah, every every student wants to copy, you know, or they just change some words and it, that is plagiarism, all right? And they have good grades, right? Everybody has good grades, but they are just a plagiar uh, doing plagiarism or plagiarizing uh, uh, anything. All right, so yes, it's very, I believe it is very serious, but I mean, it's it's a very bad situation when someone steal your ideas, right? So it's, um, it's not fair, okay? No es fair, por eso dice que es unfairly, yeah? No tiene, eh, no hay justicia, no está justo, no es justo. The teacher story appeared in national news. Uh, so the incident in Kansas, they say, what's the original punishment? You were right. Okay, what do you think? What do you think? This is the number, guys, from one to six. Including six. Sorry, I'm sorry. It's like the, at the end, no? It's like five or six. Okay, let's say six. We get very good. Yes, six. Uh, the next one, guys. Number, uh, the teacher gave the students failing grades. What, uh, what number should be? Number two. Yes, number two. The next one. Uh, the students' parents were angry. Three. Three, okay. The next one. The teacher left her job. Five. Okay. The number at uh, the next one, the group students cheated on an assignment. One. One. And the last one. What is the, other, the only number missing? Four. Four. That's the answer, guys. Okay. Questions. Ahí está. Six, two, six, two, three, five, one, four. That's it. And the next one is also a reading, I guess. No, we are go doing some listening activities before finishing the session five. Let me know if you hear. Three. Hey, Erica. I hear you're studying filmmaking. Yeah, it's what I've always wanted to do. So, what has to happen to make a movie? First, the director divides the script into scenes. Oh, why is that? Well, the scenes may not be shot in the order they appear in the script, 
different scenes may have to be done at different locations or at certain times, you know? So the director is someone who is very organized. Absolutely. Anyway, many different shots are taken, and the director chooses the best takes. So how is the final version made? Well, the takes are put together by the director and the editor. Then music, sound effects, and any computer graphics are added. And there's your movie. What is it? Four. Cheryl, one, two, these are great photos. One. What's your secret? Well, I studied photography in school. After that, I was a photojournalist at a magazine for three years. But look at these landscape shots. Is landscape photography something that requires special skills? Yes. Pictures of landscapes have to be taken with great care. You need to make sure that as much of your scene as possible is in focus. What about weather? Well, most people think the best pictures are taken on a sunny day, but that isn't always true. An overcast rainy day or a snowy day could offer you better opportunities to take interesting pictures. Taking a picture in bad weather requires a bit of a risk, I imagine. But the results are worth it. These are really incredible, Cheryl. What is it? One, two, or three? Three? Okay. Let's do the second part. Um... One. Hey, Ray, that was quite a party last night. Yeah, it was fun. I'm still cleaning up, though. What are you doing with all the bottles and cans? I'll take the cans to the recycling center and throw away the bottles. Oh, no. You should take the bottles, too. Nah, I don't get any money for recycling glass. No, but I think everyone should be required to recycle glass anyway. It's a waste to throw it away. Yeah, but recycling centers should be required to pay people who return cans and bottles. Then they won't throw them away. Two. One, two, or three. Two. Hey, Danielle. I saw you biking to work yesterday. Oh, yeah. When my car died, I decided to buy a bike. I figured I could do something about the traffic downtown and get some exercise at the same time. But there are very few bike lanes, aren't there? And in any case, cars use them. I know. Drivers who do that should be fined. A hundred dollars at least. It's so dangerous. Cyclists don't always behave so well either. I've seen them ride side by side and not allow cars to pass. Yeah, and I've seen cyclists without helmets, too. Yeah, cyclists should be required to wear helmets. And if they don't, they should be fined a hundred dollars. Okay, what is the topic about? Come on, Lorena, espérame, que, que los demás me digan. <laughs> Wait. Uh -huh. Three, 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 Okay, guys, basically we're done with this. I hope that you don't have any other questions regarding to this topic. So the next part will be reading and then we will answer this part as well. Okay, as you see, we need to focus on reading because you're not pronouncing well some, some words. See you tomorrow, guys. Have a good evening. Take care. Good evening. Bye-bye.